Hola, welcome to Clear Vision. My name is Simon and I'm a psychotherapist and all the videos here are based on my experience as a therapist. I myself, am, uh, I'm not under my tree, as you can see, uh, usually outside. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm recovering post-operation. Um, so I'm, I'm sitting at home and chilling. Today, it's just a short video on removing yourself away from a narcissist. And this isn't always an easy task. Um, but there are some kind of guidelines to follow. If you completely remove yourself really quickly from a narcissist, they probably won't have had a chance to replace you. You are narcissistic fuel supply for them. So they will come running full on, using everything they can to get you back into their clutches, to bring the, the, the fly back into the spider's web. They will come for you. So the quicker you move away, the harder and faster you move away, the harder and faster and quicker they will come forward. Um, from this, what do we know uh, is, in that case, you have to slowly remove yourself. There are some things you can do which um, make this process easier, but you do have to swallow a bit of your own ego and pride. And I am, of course, talking about this before um, things have gotten into like really, really abusive and you are you need some external help. This is recognizing um, red flags, warning signs, you've been in it for a while, you're noticing that you're deteriorating away and you need to leave and you still have enough strength to leave by uh, of your own volition. So the first thing is to pull away slowly. The first, uh, and then you also, and to do that, you need to make yourself boring and kind of neutral and kind of indifferent. So. You, there's acting with some indifference, even if you don't mean it, even if it's really churning you up inside, act with an indifference, be indifferent to them. Um, become boring and gradually uninterested in them and uninteresting to them as well. This will aid your moving away from them. Um, and I am talking in terms of romantic relationships, but this can be in the workplace as well or in the social sphere. Um, to become uninteresting to them, become uninterested in them, a bit very neutral. If you come at a narcissist head on and you go, do you know what, I'm going to leave you because you're a ba 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 and you ba 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 they're going to enjoy that. There's, there's an energy in that. They've, they have you in their clutches. They're feeding off of that energy. They're, they're vampiristic. If you are down on your knees and crying and sad, they're still going to feed off that but it's gonna last less time. They're gonna become disinterested in that sooner because they're actually breaking you down. Um, especially if you d don't get back up and worship them. So these are things to bear in mind. So to leave a narcissist, do it slowly. Play, you have to play a game uh, um, with them. You have to use their own power against them you have to flip the tables so you you leave slowly you become uninteresting you become uninterested you give them nothing therefore you're cutting off their narcissistic supply their energetic supply that's coming from you you were fueling them um and now you are take you're not fueling them you're depriving them of oxygen of fuel whatever however you want to put it you're no longer interesting um, you've no longer got any fight in you. You've no longer got any energy. You don't praise them, put them up on a pedestal. You stop all of that. When they con and they will contact you probably with, oh, they'll try and make you feel sorry for them. They'll try and make you feel excited by them. They will try all sorts of tactics and all sorts to trigger you. And the thing is to not get triggered by it or to at least not show it. So you need a safe person a therapist, a really, really trusted friend or family member where you can vent to and go, oh my God, do you know that they're doing oh, everything that I asked them to do, they're now doing with someone else or doing with friends or whatever it is that they're doing or they keep calling me and telling me this and uh, yeah, they're trying to entice you back and don't show them you, that energy, don't show them re that reaction, you have to become completely bland and boring to them in order to leave. Don't argue with them. A narcissist loves an argument. 
because they're pulling with you, they're playing with you like a, a cat with a mouse. They are playing with you all the time. Um, the best way to deal with a narcissist, yes, you're right. Yes, you're right. Yes, you're right. I'm sorry. I won't do it again. And then leave. You know, just leave. Just get out as quick as you can. Um, so that's, the, 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 this is how I would say, this is the best technique in order to move yourself away from a narcissist. Uh, moving yourself away from a violent narcissist is also something else different. You may need some help with that. This is, I'll do this on another video. Um, this is more, you've got yourself a few months into a relationship, maybe a year, maybe a couple of years into a relationship, and you are noticing this is where it's at, this is where it's going, I need to get out now. And trust me when I say this, if trust your instincts, if your instincts are telling you this is seriously, there is something very, very wrong, very misaligned here, very misplaced here, trust that. Check it out first. Is this my paranoia? Have I been here before? Am I just repeating? Am I afraid of love? Am I repeating my old stuff? Is this an old pattern of mine? And I'm seeing um, the negative where there isn't any. And if the answers keep coming back as no, 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 there is something wrong here. There's, there's, you're getting um, word salad. You're getting gaslit. You're um, someone is playing games with you, making you feel crazy with the words they say they're confusing you then you need to get out and the quickest way to get out is the slowest way to get out of that relationship i hope that helps and i will see you next time in the meantime please take care of yourselves